in the past, a lot of times if, if a teacher found that a youngster was struggling with reading, they would move them to easier text. And, and, and all of a sudden the problem would go away. And the idea was if the youngsters practiced enough doing the, the relatively easy reading, uh, they'd make great growth. There's not a lot of evidence that that's true. And in fact, there's a little bit of evidence that would say that we need to stretch kids more and that they need more opportunities to deal with the harder vocabulary and the more complicated sentences and the other kinds of features that, that more challenging text provides. And so I think teachers are going to have to shift their stance away from can I find an easy enough text to kids to what can I give, what kinds of supports or scaffolds can I use that will allow kids to handle the really hard text. And, and that's a, a real pivot for teachers. That's something that they haven't had to do in the past. And so now all of a sudden they're going to have to read text closely themselves to figure out what's challenging about it. And then they're going to have to think of the kinds of supports or, 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 or scaffolds that would allow a youngster, you know, if they knew that or, or had that background or, or were aware of, of a particular relationship or whatever that would now allow the youngster to actually be able to read that text and make sense of it. Uh, without the teacher telling them what it says or, or, or have, you know, reading it to them or, or whatever. And I think that's going to be really tough for teachers, but I think it's really important that we do that for kids. Uh, if we really want them to be good readers, they have to have those experiences of making sense of challenging text.